shall we lift up our two hands to heaven at this time and bless the name of the Lord for bringing us into his presence this first Sunday of the year. Lift up your two hands and give him thanks. It's of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. His compassions fail not. They are new every morning and great is his faithfulness. Give him thanks, everybody. If you believe it's the Lord's doing, give him thanks. And now ask him to speak to you this afternoon. Jesus, I want to hear from you. Jesus, I want to hear from you. Jesus, speak to me again today. Set me upon my feet for the 21 days of prayer and fasting ahead of me. Somebody pray that prayer. Open my eyes to behold wondrous things out of thy law. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are gathered right now in your presence. Show us the path of life. Grant every one of us an encounter with you through your world. Yeah. Set us upon our feet for a most glorious adventure in the forthcoming 21 days of prayer and fasting. Yeah. Empower us from the communion table today yeah. with strength yeah. to mind the demands of the hour yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Yeah. Welcome to 20, 2021 your year of supernatural turnaround. Amen. It shall answer to you in all respects. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. I'm pleased you may be seated. The prophetic focus for the month is prayer and fasting empowers fulfillment of prophecies. Prayer and fasting is ordained a platform for securing fulfillment of prophecies. The writer scripture is 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 18. This charge I commend to you, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. More often than not, it takes some warfare to see prophecies come to pass. Why? The enemy is always out to contend with your inheritance and my inheritance. He's always out there to contend with your portion in God and my portion in God. First Corinthians 16, 9, the word says, a great door and effectual is opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. And many of them won't hear, many of them won't move, except by prayer and fasting. Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 24. Arise and pass over this river Anon. Behold, I've given you Sion, the Amorite king of Ishmael and Islam. Begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. May the goodies of this promised land never be robbed you by your enemies. Amen. The eyes of the Lord will remain over your life from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Amen. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest. Amen. amen. Prayer and fasting empowers fulfillment of prophecies. Very important. Our subject today is looking at fundamental benefits of prayer and fasting. Fundamental benefits of prayer and fasting. Let me start by saying that prayer and fasting is our spiritual responsibility for securing our glorious destiny in Christ. Jesus taught them saying, when thou 
prayer. Matthew chapter 6 verse 6. That is when you pray. Then verse 17. When you fast. So it's not if you fast. It's when you fast. Fasting is part of our spiritual responsibility for securing our glorious destiny in Christ. And we see the reason why as we go on. In Matthew chapter 9 verse 14 and 15, the Pharisees came to Jesus. Why do the disciples of um, John fast often and uh, that of the Pharisees, but your own just keep eating and eating and eating away. And Jesus responded, can you make the children of the bride chamber to fast as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them and then they shall fast. Then shall they fast. Then shall they fast. And we saw the bridegroom took off into heaven from Mount Olive. And they watched him going and disappear into the cloud. So we are in the days of prayer and fasting in the body of Christ. We are in the days of prayer and fasting in the body of Christ. Mark chapter 2 verse 19 and 20, the same truth is repeated. Why do the disciples of John fast and then your own are just eating all the way? Can you make the children of the bread chamber to fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them and then shall they fast in those days. So when the days of Jesus' prescribed fasting, then shall they fast. Then shall they fast in those days. Luke chapter 5 and verse 34 and 35, the same thing. Then shall they fast. So it's repeated three times to show the importance of the subject of fasting. Then shall they fast in those days. Then shall they fast in those days. So to be ruled by our belly is to be ruined by our belly. Some people will say to them, their belly is their God. Well, if I don't eat by 7 a.m., the day is lost. That's the way, that's my makeup. 8 a.m. latest, I must have a breakfast. Then I have um, a brunch at 11. The day I don't have it, I'm destabilized. Then I have proper lunch at 2 o'clock and then pre-dinner at 4. What a worship. What a worship. It's unless there be any profane person like Esau who sold his bath right for a morsel of meat? For ye know how he sought it carefully with tears, but found no place for repentance. Oh, poor Esau. Now, there are many poor believers. One thing they won't take is fasting. I heard someone say recently, and I got scared. He said, God only prescribed one day fasting in a year. Amen. But I saw Moses fasted 40 days twice on a row. He broke the table, he went back, making 80 days. I saw Nehemiah fasted three weeks. I saw Daniel live the fasted life. Pleasure is an enemy of destiny. 
pleasure is an enemy of destiny. Woe unto them that has ease in Zion. They are in Zion, the city of deliverance, where you possess your possession. But they love ease above responsibilities. And so, their life does not reflect that they belong to Zion. Proverbs 21 verse 17 He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. You can perfect your life by undue crave for pleasure. Undue, for, for pleasure. Undue crave for pleasure. One of my friends in those days said, he looked at me in Kaduna. He said, would this man kill himself? Paul said, I die daily. You can't impart on generation just eating chocolate, sweet, cake, bring Coke, bring Fanta, mix them together, bring wine, just 1% alcohol. <laughs> it's coming gradually. So it's going to become 10%. And then 20, and then full scale alcohol. <laughs> Amen. Paul fasted often. Second, Chron uh, Second Corinthians 6 5, and Second Corinthians 11 27. And fasted often. And so, Jesus said, Paul said, that's the gospel. Yes, sir. Jesus said, Paul said, no one can preach in this world a 30 minutes message without Paul said. Otherwise, it's not the gospel. Jesus showed us the principles. Paul showed us the mysteries. Amen. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ, your glorious birthright in Christ will not be sold to your belly. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. So fasting is not a religious punishment. It's a spiritual platform that establishes profitable triumphant Christian living. You will not miss it. In the name of Jesus. What are the profits or benefits in fasting? The Bible says we should be ready to give an answer to anyone that asks the reason for the hope that is in us. We, we must have a ready answer. Why fast? What is in it for me? First Peter chapter 3 verse 15. What is in fasting for me? Because when you come to understand the purpose, you won't need to be pushed. It becomes a natural delight. A natural delight. A natural delight. So we run through nine of them very fast. And then get strengthened from the communion table for the 21 days journey ahead of us. Number one, fasting is for empowerment into next levels. Empowerment into next levels. Fasting is essentially about the empowerment of the saint. But it's important to know Empowerment is in levels. The apostles received the Holy Ghost. And so, according to scriptures in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, they received power. Now, in chapter 4 of Acts, with great power. Amen. Now, Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. 
Luke 4, 14. And then the people saw the mighty power of God in Luke 9, 43. From power to mighty power. The apostles from power to great power. Amen. These are all indicators that power is in levels. And so when we engage in a fast, is in our crave to see the next level of power. My soul thirsted for thee, and my flesh longed for thee to see thy power and thy glory as I've seen thee in the sanctuary. So fasting is about next level of empowerment, which enhances your level of spiritual authority. Can I hear your amen? amen. Changes your level of command. I was in a fast in 1977 and upon the conclusion of that fast God came down and said behold I've touched your tongue with a coal of fire and from henceforth as you see it, you see it. It's about empowerment. I wasn't fasting for bread and water. I was fasting for change of level in my spiritual life. Because Jesus is with power you are returning from these 21 days of prayer and fasting with next level of empowerment. Amen. The Holy Ghost came upon Jesus in Luke chapter 4 when he was being baptized. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. That's okay. In chapter 9, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. Change of level of spiritual authority. He gave them power and authority against unclean spirit. Power is always accompanied with authority. You say to this go, it will go. After this fasting. Amen. What you need to say to go twice before, you say it only once. Amen. What you used to say once to go before, when they sight you, they go. Amen. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Some people were baptized in the Holy Ghost and right now they too know that their tongue is not communicating. They speak in tongue but they know they are not communicating. The tongue is dry while the oil is finished. The oil is finished. In the course of this and one days of prayer and fasting, your oil shall be refilled Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A very graphic illustration is in Ezekiel 47 and verse 1 to 5. Um, and we are told here, afterward he brought me again unto the door of the house and behold, waters issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward. For the forefront of the house stood towards the east, and the waters came down from the under the right side of the house at the south side of the altar. He's describing the release of the Holy Ghost from the right side of the throne where Christ is seated. Remember, if I go, I will send him to you. It's expedient for me that I go away. If I go not away, the comforter will not come. But when I go, I will send him. So it was being sent from where he sat, and the water is flowing. And then the man that had the line came up and measured a thousand of cubits and he took me through the water. It was to the ankle. Measured another thousand line uh, cubits and it was to the knees. Another thousand uh, cubits and it was to the loins. Then another thousand cubits. Then it was a water, that, a river that I could not pass over. So he's talking about the rivers of living water, about the Holy Ghost flowing from the right side of the throne. And People operate in levels in that school of the Spirit. Can I hear your amen? amen? May everyone's ankle deep level move to knee level this time. Amen. May everyone at the knee level move to the loins level. Amen. And may we receive grace to move up the loins level to the level of rivers that cannot be passed over. Who shall be there? 
Please keep panting. That to speak in tongues does not mean the end of empowerment. It's your registration in the school of power. Being baptized in the Holy Ghost is your registration in the school of power. You now start from 100 level. You move to 200 level. From 200 level to 300 level. 300 level to 400 level. And then if you are running a five-year program, 500 level. You go for your master's, 600 level. And then you move to the next class there, 700 level. And then you decide to come for PAT, you start going 900 level. <laughs> I mean, it's in levels and it's unending. Praise God. It's in levels. Many of us have stayed around the same corner for too long. It's in levels. It's in levels. Your level must change this time. So fasting is for your personal empowerment. For triumphant living and fulfillment of your glorious destiny in redemption. You are fasting for nobody. You are fasting for yourself. Go to them that sell and buy for yourself. You are buying for yourself. I can't be praying for the church. You are buying for yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Prayer and fasting does not really change things. It changes people. Yes, sir. It's changing you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's changing you. Yes, sir. It's changing you. So have that personal, have that understanding of personal benefit that you draw from it. Serious personal benefit. Serious. Serious personal benefit. Okay, as you say it, you see it. Now, am I only saying it for two people? I'm saying it to myself. Relax. Peace be still. Relax. And then the plane stabilized. Praise God. It's absolutely for your personal benefit. So enjoy it. When students go to school and see their benefit their parents, they don't do well. I'm going to show him. I'm not going to any class. <laughs> A time comes in your life that when you're hungry, you can't tell your parents. You feel ashamed. So you keep the hunger. Keep it. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> By the time you take responsibility, you didn't take it. When you think you are going to school to help your parent, you won't do well. When you see it as a personal opportunity to secure your future, yes. Abba, you will run. You will run. You know, those people who go about looking for prophecies, they are people who don't know how to reach God. Excuse me, what is God saying? Send it down. You'll be a policeman. <laughs> You, you'll be immigration. <laughs> you, civil defense. <laughs> Somebody's story is changing. Amen. Now, Billy Graham said, some temptations come to all men, but all temptations come to the idol. Oh, how many? Somebody directed me to you that you see vision from the Lord. In our church, we don't see vision. They just say, look at the Bible. <laughs> so, what do you see? He said, hmm, lay down. <laughs> you went to your village? When did you come back? You greeted one woman, Abby, and start creating the woman. <laughs> it's light complexion. He followed you. Wow. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All those junk, 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 junk because you don't know God. Those who don't know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do what? Yes. Your story has changed. Amen. Number two, benefit of fasting is the destruction of yokes. Now, chapter 58 of Isaiah, verse 6, is this not the fast that I have chosen?
to lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burden, to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. So fasting is a platform for breaking every yoke. A yoke means something choking you. So whatever may choke in any aspect of your life, these 21 days of prayer and fasting will destroy it forever. Yeah. Whatever is choking your family life, you live under pressure perpetually, it will be destroyed forever. Yeah. Whatever may be choking your business and your career will be destroyed forever. Yeah. Whatever may be choking your marital destiny that kept you on the same spot for years, will be destroyed forever. Yeah. So fasting is ordained for destruction of yokes. He said, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27 is ordained for destruction of yokes. Somebody was 25 years in drug addiction, cocaine, heroin, we had the testimony in the first service, walked into the prayer and fasting time of 2017, Jesus delivered them clean from that day forward. He said, I don't feed the urge anymore for drugs. I just appear in church every morning. That's a massive turnaround. Now, whatever is choking anybody's destiny shall be gone like a dream of the night. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Number three benefit of prayer and fasting is access to outbreak of revelation. Access to outbreak of revelation. Next to salvation, our greatest asset in the kingdom is revelation. Salvation rescues us from destruction. And revelation rescues us from frustration and devastation. It's the same thing. Many may be saved as passing through fire. That is, there is no value of redemption traceable in their life because of spiritual ignorance, lack of access to light. And it's a battle, it's a warfare. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, which is the image of God, should shine unto them. So there's a, a satanic interference, resistance to your access and my access to revelation. And some kind of those resistance will never go except by prayer and fasting. Now, let me tell you this every believer will be limited in access to revelation without engaging in the covenant obligation of prayer and fasting. You'll be limited. There's an outbreak of revelation. Out, outbreak of revelation. Amen. I walked out of any tendency for borrowing from the prayer and fasting altar. I wasn't praying for it. For the Lord thy God bless us as I promised you and you shall lend to many nations. During the pandemic, we were a blessing to 14 nations. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. But thou shalt not borrow. And I said, why, Jesus? Because a borrower is servant to the lender. Why, Jesus? You cannot serve two masters. You have to choose one and despise the other. October 4, 1981. We've never taken overdraft from any bank on heaven. No. Outbreak of revelation. Then he said to me, you don't need to know anybody to scale the utmost height in life. Just know me. Those who do know their God, they shall be strong. So I don't need connections. I've never sought one. Connection with who? And for what? Those who do know their God, 
they shall be sown. He said, my son, you need to know anyone to scale the utmost height in life. You know, in our country here, it's a common saying, it's who you know that matters. It's a devil's lie. Amen. Paul said, I know no man after the flesh. Amen. That's where he brought me to. In the fast. In the fast. Yes, then he came down in Proverbs 4 and verse 18. Your path is ordained as a shining light to shine more and more to perfect day. I don't have ups and down agenda for you. It was in the fast. The same October 4. It was 1 to 4. Straight fight. Fast. Outbreak of revelation that, that decorates destinies. That decorates dest outbreak. Now, before this 21 days is over, there shall be diverse outbreak of revelations in your life. Amen. Outbreak. We were in the fast. And the Lord said to me, from Psalm 34, verse 5, they don't look like it. My son, you have two eyes. Can you make one to look up and one to look down? I said, anytime you are looking unto me, I never claim to be looking unto me. But if you fix your eyes on me, you will never be ashamed. You know, we have a lot of funny, funny projects in this ministry. Me and my wife have never sat down once to discuss a project. That with this number of churches we are building, what do you think? No. She's not thinking, I'm not thinking. The owner is thinking. Yes. We have to keep using what he gave us to use. Life. Outbreak of revelation that restores dignity. You will encounter many this time. Amen. So don't just fast and be praying and forget the prayer point you are praying. Oh Father, oh Son, it's just two, my God. <laughs> Glory to God. In those days on the prayer mountain, it's not this prayer five minutes prayer that is here. Shall we pray? Uh, shall, shall we sit down? Hello? We meet at this point in two hours' time. Go ahead. You generate your prayer point. You pray your prayer point. If you sleep, that's your problem. <laughs> if you sleep in the night and something bites you. <laughs> Amen. But you are going to make the most of this. Amen. If all you do is come for prayer meeting at six, you are wasting time. You have a lot of things that you want to see God reorder. Take them up as projects. Glory to God. Outbreak of revelations. Outbreak of revelations. Everything God told me about church growth is outbreak of revelation. Outbreak. And keep the grass green because it makes me to lie down on green pasture. Keep sowing the seed. The seed is the word of God. And as the grass grows, <laughs> the sheep will come for it. And keep the grass green. Go out there, my friend, and tell them to come and see what I'm doing in church. Go again and again and again until my house is filled. We have been going again and again ever since. You will encounter God this time. Amen. Can I pray this prayer for you that nothing will distract your attention in this 21 days? It will be your best spiritual season till date. Yeah. You will hear direct answers from God to every of your prayer. Yeah. Give the Lord a big clap offering. Yeah. There shall thy light break forth as the morning. Isaiah 58 and verse 8. And verse 10, your light shall break forth out of obscurity. And your darkness shall be as noonday. All from the altar of prayer and fasting. Amen. It's your turn. Well, number four benefit, speedy restoration of our health and vitality. And verse 8 of Isaiah 58, then shall your health spring forth speedily. Your health shall spring forth speedily. 
every issue on your head will be gone like a dream of the night. Somebody is marching out of sickness and disease to live a super healthy life the remaining years of his life. If you are that individual, let me hear your loudest amen. How does this happen? Most sickness that Jesus healed, they were oppressions of the devil. He went about doing good and healing all them that were oppressed of the devil because God was with them. And some of these oppressors will not give way without prayer and fasting. Praise God. Amen. He said, why could we not cast this devil out? He said, because of your unbelief. I'll be it. This kind work not out, but by prayer and by fasting. And when the root is removed, it's automatic. The plague will cease. Then Satan went forth and smote Job with boys. So, boys look so ordinary and, you know, it's inflammation of uh, the uh, veins. <laughs> it was Satan inflammation. <laughs> Satan smote Job with boys. Peter's mother-in-law was taken by a fever. Jesus rebuked the fever. There was a demon behind it. Can I hear your amen? Amen. So, none of those things will have medical they won't have medical solution forever satanic oppression has no medical solution you can go from country to country nation to nation and don't make a difference yes there are physiological issues you know that come away but there are direct satanic attacks on your health you just sit down and then everything is just turning your body and they check you, they say it's pneumonia. Mm. It's a Tanya. <laughs> it's a Tanya. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. And fasting and prayer will always rout any demonic installation against your health and set you free like a dream of the night. Amen. Now, the good news is every satanic oppression on your life will be turned to a testimony. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Every satanic oppression on your life shall be turned to a testimony this season. Amen. That also ties to outbreak of revelation, you know, like we saw in that story of that terminal disease case in Job 33 and verse um, 21 to 25, is flesh was consumed a way that he could not be seen. And his bones that were not seen stick out. Yea, his life draws near to the grave and his soul to the destroyer. But if there be a messenger with him, one among the thousand, who will show to man his rights to healing, health, and wholeness. Then we go be merciful to him and say, deliver him from going down to the pit and find a ransom. Then his flesh shall return as that of a child and he shall return to the days of his youth. Not just healing, but rejuvenation. He returns back to the day of his youth. Whatever has robbed you of your strength will be fully restored this time. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Then, number five, access to next level of sanctification. How many want to please God here? How many desire to please God forever? Now, how many want to make heaven? Now, whatever disqualifies a man from making heaven needs attention. Needs what? It needs attention. He gave them power against unclean spirits. So, there are unclean spirits in the atmosphere. Amen. 
Matthew chapter 10 verse 1, Mark chapter 6 verse 7. He gives them power against unclean spirits. Unclean spirits to cast them out. Unclean spirits. So there are spirits of defilement whose mission is to disconnect us from God and turn us to grand losers in the kingdom. And so we saw the case of Joshua the high priest and Satan standing on his right hand to resist him. No. This garment, you can't put it off. No. And now Joshua was filled with, was clothed with filthy garment. And standing helpless. There are things you don't want to do find yourself doing it. Now it must end this time. Yeah. And the Lord said, take off that garment from him. You will hear that kind of thing. Amen. The anger that puts your home under pressure will be over. Amen. The pride and arrogance that makes your home uncomfortable for you and your spouse will be over. Amen. Dirty wars, killer wars that come from your mouth that set your place on fire will be completely over. Amen. So there is a satanic interference in our desire to please God. And that's why we engage in fasting and prayer to clear them off our track. Amen. Amen. He said, this kind went not out, but by prayer and fasting. There is no satanic installation that will resist the authority of faith coupled with prayer and fasting. So anything you don't want in your life, you'll never see it again. Amen. Anything you truly desire shall become your new testimony. Amen. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest. Amen. amen. Give the Lord the biggest clap offering, everybody. <laughs> For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the flesh, ye shall live. So as we grow in power, we begin to mortify, to destroy the deeds of the flesh so we can live. You live after the flesh, you die. But you allow the Holy Spirit to take over your life, you shall live. Because you destroy the deeds of the flesh. Thank you, Jesus. But he has sanctified by the Spirit of the Lord. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 11. So it takes the empowerment of the Spirit to live a sanctified life. And fasting is a platform for empowerment into next levels. And such were some of you. <laughs> but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. The Holy Ghost is a finest fire. In Malachi chapter 3. And it means you thoroughly purge us. So that our sacrifice can be acceptable to God. As in former days. Can I hear your amen? amen? As you keep fanning the fire of the Holy Ghost in these 21 days. No chaff will remain in any area of your life. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Next. Another benefit of prayer and fasting is express answers to prayers. Say with me, what? How many want to experience express answers to prayer? In Isaiah 58 and verse 9, Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and they will say, hey, here I am. Just take away from you whatever blocks your prayer channel. Let it be off your path. Then with speed, you receive answers. Elijah is a man like you. 
But the prayer that God answered, he prayed earnestly. Heartfelt, continued prayers. No casual prayers, no sleepy prayers. Fervent prayers. And we saw that kind of prayer in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 41 to 46. Go and check, my friend. He said nothing. Go and check again seven times. He said, hey, excuse me, sir. I saw a cloud in form of a human hand. He said, tell you how. Get ready. Rain is here. The prayer that won't go without a response from heaven. Be instant in prayer, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. No sleepy prayer. No prayer you pray. You can't even tell what subject you pray on. Father, thank you. What is that? <laughs> Display. Father, I thank you. I'm sure these 21 days will soon be over. <laughs> the prayer that you pray that when you emerge from the prayer room, all the devils know you have met with God. That's the kind of prayer you will pray this time. Amen. Not absent minded prayer, not wandering prayers, not prayer with telephones in your front. Hello? I'm praying, you know, we're in 21 days of prayer and fasting. <laughs> then another one calls you. I say, I'm praying. I'm praying. <laughs> Can you do that in court? You're in the witness box. <laughs> if I, it will be the worst mistake to let your phone be in your hand. <laughs> so now I say, Excuse me, George, hold on. <laughs> Hello? Court in the Moa. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Focus prayer. Faith deliberate prayer. Prayer on a mission. Prayer with a determination to return with an answer. Fervent prayer. Heartfelt prayer. That's the kind of prayer that enjoys PD answers. You won't miss it this time. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Number seven, access to divine guidance. Access to divine guidance. Verse 11 of Isaiah 58. And the Lord shall guide thee continually continually the Lord shall guide thee continually and shall satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones and thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not that is the awesomeness of divine guidance it gets you off the dresses of life. You become like a watered garden whose waters fail not. And they tasted not when he led them through the desert. Isaiah 48 verse 21. He caused the rock to bring forth waters for them. Now, he claimed the rock also and the waters gushed out. The Lord shall guide thee continually. You never suffer confusion anymore. Yeah. You never miss your steps in life anymore. Yeah. You never run your life on trial by error anymore. Yeah. From now, specific directions, clear directives shall be your experience in your work with God. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. And let me hear your loudest amen. amen. That is what happens when you secure divine guidance. You emerge an ego believer. You are made to ride in your high places. You suck honey out of the rocks and oil out of the flinty rocks. 
when the Lord alone leads you, when you are not led by people's opinions, you are led by God. Every step of the way. Now, he goes before you, he goes with you, he walks with you, he walks through you, and he walks for you, so you become a wonder. You just become a living wonder. Well, in this 21 days of prayer and fasting, you never miss heaven's direct, claim and clear court direction for your life. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest, amen. Yeah. Very quickly, number eight, fasting facilitates access to realms of supernatural breakthroughs. Supernatural breakthroughs. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit and breakthroughs broke loose. The same chapter 4, verse 14, he returned the power. Verse 18, he became the focus of men. And down the way, we have never seen it in this fashion. It just was turned to a breakthrough entity. You are returning from these 21 days of prayer and fasting a breakthrough entity indeed. Yeah. You never know breakdowns anymore in your life. Yeah. You never know breakdowns anymore in your business. Yeah. You never know breakdowns anymore in your career. Yeah. You never know breakdowns anymore in your home. Yeah. You never know breakdowns anymore in your health. Yeah. You never know breakdowns anymore with your children. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Isaiah 58 and verse 12. Concerning one of the results of prayer and fasting. He said, and they, shall, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. That's talking about your children. Amen. Amen. All your children will be greater than you in all right respect. Yes. Now, and you shall be called... You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. And you shall be called the repairer of the bridge. And the restorer of paths to walking. That's talking about pace-setting order of breakthroughs. You are raising the foundation of many generations. That generation will be gasping to catch up with what records you lay. Well, that will be part of your result this time. Yeah. Unusual things will break loose in your life. Yeah. As a seed of Abraham, the Bible said, um, by your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. You may look so ordinary there at that corner where you are, but God is making something outstanding out of your life. Yeah. All you need is settle down and obey God and watch him decorate your life. We saw the breakthrough of Paul the Apostle. We saw a secret and fastings of leading to outbreak of revelations and outbreak of exploits. Arise, shine, your light is come. Then who are these that fly as the clouds? You were hated and despised, but I'll make you an eternal excellency, the joy of many generations. Verse 22, a little one among you shall become like a thousand and a small one a strong nation. All coming from the altar of outbreak of revelations. In the name of Jesus, the next steps to take to your next level of breakthrough, you will receive it clearly this time. Yeah. And finally, fast and facilitate access to speedy delivery of our inheritance. Speedy delivery of our inheritance. Speedy delivery of our inheritance. How? From the outbreak of light. And we talk about the speed of light. I will hasten my war to perform it. Fasting provides a platform for outbreak of light. And light entitles you to outstanding speed of accomplishment. I will hasten my war to perform it. 
by reason of the light in which you are walking. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11 and 12. What says thou? He said, I see a road of an almond tree. He said, thou said the Lord. He said, I was saying, well, if I will hasten my word to perform it. I will hasten my word to perform it. When you see well, you have provoked speed by saying well. The brighter your headlamp in the night, the faster you can drive. The brighter you see, the greater speed you gain. Therefore, this year shall be a year of divine speed for you. Yeah. What will have taken you six years will be done in one year. Yeah. For some of us, this one year will be more than 20 years in worth. Yeah. By reason of divine speed. That shall be your experience. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. That shall be your experience. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your right hand and give God thanks. Give him thanks in words. You are in for the best of time this year. Give God thanks. Give him praise. Give him glory and give him honor. You are in for the best of time this year. It's a year you will much remember in your life. Everything will be falling into place with you. Your spiritual life is changing level. You are changing level in your business and career. You are changing level in your family life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give the Lord the biggest clap offering everybody. Very quickly this afternoon, there are people here that need to turn their life over to Jesus and be saved. You want to become a child of God. You want your sins forgiven. I'd like to pray with you. Wherever you are in this service today. You want your sins forgiven. You want your name written in the book of life. You want to live an overcomer's life. And make heaven at the end of your journey. Wherever you are please stand to your feet. And I'll pray with you. God bless you. God bless you. You want to be saved today. Please stand to your feet. You want your sins forgiven today. Please stand to your feet. God bless you. God bless you. And remain standing please. God bless you. I pray for you right there where you are. Wherever you are, please stand to your feet. I would like to pray with you. And you will be born again and become a child of God and live the overcomer's life and make heaven in grand style. God bless you. Now there are also people here today that need to rededicate their life to Christ and start a new year in a brand new way. Not one step in and one step out. Not making God as one of your alternatives. Or make him the only source of your expectation. Wherever you are, you want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Please stand and I'll pray with you. You want to have a most triumphant journey in the year 2021. Please stand to your feet. Jesus loves you. Amen. Now, for everyone standing both in the first and second call, please bow your heads for prayers. And lift up your right hand to heaven. And pray this prayer of faith after me. Lift up your right hand to heaven and pray this prayer of faith after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. Say it loud. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again that I may be justified. Right now, I believe that my sins are now forgiven. I'm washed by your blood. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm now a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring me back to the faith. I will serve you all through the days of my life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Keep your hands up as I pray. Father, I pray over these precious souls. Your grace has brought them in. Let the same grace preserve them. I cover every one of you with the precious blood of Jesus. Stay covered the remaining days of your life. In Jesus' precious name. You shall make this journey to the end. You shall not fail nor falter on the way. The grace that brought you in today will preserve you for life. 
You'll never walk away from Jesus anymore. In Jesus' precious name. Congratulations. Church, give the Lord a big hand for them. Amen. Please complete your forms and make sure you pass them over to those church officials that handed them over to you. We'll be glad to be part of your joy and help us of your faith. Give us that opportunity and we'll reach out to you. Shall we all rise? Everyone who has been blessed by the world, give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. How many are set by the grace of God to make the most of these 21 days of prayer and fasting? God will surprise you. He said, when the Lord turned against our captivity, you are like them that my God will surprise you. Every of your desire will be delivered like a dream of the night. My God will surprise you. And the surprises begins from tomorrow. Amen. You will have great experiences on the prayer altar. Amen. You will make great discoveries from the word of life. Amen. You will enjoy outbreak of revelation. Amen. Speedy restoration of your health. Amen. You will enjoy divine speed. Amen. You will be met with divine favor. Amen. It will be clear that you have met with God. So shall it be. Yeah. Lift up your two hands and speak to the 21 days ahead of you. Speak to it right now from the depth of your heart. Express your desire. The kind of experience you want to, to have during this season. Thank you, Jesus. And blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Can we have the stewards please come? We are partaking of this communion to receive divine strength that will sustain our fervency on the altar of prayer, intensity in our searching of scriptures, sensitivity to the voice of the Spirit, Try not to pray prayers like a wandering star. Concentrated and consecrated prayer. Prayer of amazing discoveries. And the angel of the Lord came to me a second time and I said, Arise. Take and drink, for the journey is long for thee. And then Elijah arose and did eat and drank. And he went in the strength of that meat 40 days and 40 nights to Horeb, the month of God. First Kings chapter 19, verse 7 and 8. He could run in the strength of angels made for 40 days and 40 nights. From John chapter 6, we know that what we are taking is superior to what they took in the wilderness. Now, men did eat angels' bread. That's what they were eating on. Feeding on. But we're now eating the flesh and the body of Christ. Your strength will not diminish. Amen. Your prayer life will remain on fire. Amen. There shall be outbreak of light. Amen. Your darkness will be as noon day. Amen. Your light will break out of obscurity. Amen. Your prayers will be answered with speak. You will receive very clean and clear call guidance. Amen. You will never miss your steps anymore. Amen. It will be the greatest experience of your life till date. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. So it's for yours. All run strength. Spirit, soul, and body. Your mind will never wander away for one second. We will hear from him. Amen. It will be clear. Amen. The proof will be all over you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your health will spring for speedily. 
Your righteousness will go before you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Well, this is the flesh and the blood of Jesus. And every table served here today is declared the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Amen. As you partake of it, enjoy the best of heaven. Amen. In this forthcoming 21 days of prayer and fasting Amen. that starts tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Be strengthened with might in your inner man. Amen. Your days are declared renewed like the days of an eagle. You shall not faint. Amen. You shall not falter. Amen. It shall be a most resourceful time for you in God's presence. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Please get seated while the ushers direct as to your turn and then you partake of the table of the Lord. <laughs>